For those of you new to NDN, uh, we are a progressive think tank and advocacy organization based in Washington with uh, an, an occasionally robust presence in New York, and uh, hopefully more so. Uh, I want to acknowledge, before we get to the panelists, Tracy Lehman, who runs all of our national events, who uh, I think came up to New York for a day of shopping and then came over here tonight uh, with all of us. That was a joke, Tracy, sorry. And Lee Duggar, who is no longer with NDN, but has been a part of our family up here for a long time. Lee's out there somewhere. It's a little bright. Um, but it's, uh, it's great to be back. I'm a New Yorker. I was uh, born here. And so it's always fun to come back. I'm still a diehard Mets fan, but I'm losing my kids to the Nationals, uh, I have to say, but not the Yankees, importantly. Uh, and so uh, thank you all. And also, my brother Bob is here somewhere. Welcome, Bob. Um, and uh, we've got a great event tonight. And this is really, uh, we had, for those of you, some of you mentioned you were at our recent forum on clean technology that we had just a few weeks ago. We also are having uh, another book party next Monday night here at the Harvard Club, right, Tracy? Uh, that will be uh, the book of, a, of a, the man who runs our globalization initiative, Rob Shapiro, called Futurecast. It's a wonderful book, uh, and also it will be a, a wonderful intimate event where we can talk about big trends that are going on in the world. And so please feel free, if you're so moved by what you hear tonight, to come on back next Monday at 6, right, Tracy, I think. Uh, and there will be keep in touch with us and look at our website for future events uh, up here in New York. And in keeping with this Title, please everyone turn off all of your electronic devices uh, and all your means of communicating with the outside world. But we've got a great event tonight, and, and I just want to say that, you know, NDN among, you know, our basic argument about the world is that for uh, the progressive side of the aisle to replicate its great success in the 20th century and the 21st, we're going to have to do three big things. We're going to have to offer a governing agenda that meets the challenge of the 21st century. We're going to have to use these new technology and media tools. Uh, that are changing the way that we all communicate and advocate. And third is that we're going to have to understand the ch changing demography of the country in order to be able to, to build a majority coalition around the people that here li live in the United States in the 21st century, not those that were in a previous time. And uh, what I'm excited about is that I think this, this book and this discussion is going to touch upon all three of these areas that we look at. And I want to say that we have become very well known uh, in the left of center world for the work we've done in sort of explaining the rise of the Latino community in the United States. I would say we also, for a while, were seen as among the chief interpreters of this rise of this group called the Millennials that we're going to talk about tonight. But the way we got into this whole discussion of Millennials was really through Morley and Mike, who are here tonight. I mean, they were the, our teachers. They got us into this space. They helped us understand that this generation that we call the millennials is the largest generation in American history, bigger than the baby boomers, and will be in the 21st century uh, what the boomers were in the 20th. They're gonna, their presence, their, their, their size of their generation will leave behind different media, different politics, different culture, different society. And for anyone who's looking forward, whether it's in your marketing job or in your political job, it's impossible to imagine a politics, a society in 21st century America without the millennials being front and center uh, in all that you do, because they are coming. And they're coming in, in, big, in a big way, and they're going to leave behind a very different America. So we have an exciting group uh, with us tonight. What I'm going to do is be very uh, short on the, on the bios and the introductions, because you've seen all that in your materials. I'd rather spend our time together uh, just talking about the, uh, the subjects at hand. And in addition to Mike and, and Morley, uh, I've got two friends of ours that have joined us tonight, too. John Schnur, who's an old friend who I've known for a long time. John, it's kind of amazing. Um, who served in the Clinton administration, who's now become one of the leading social entrepreneurs uh, in America today. He runs a, an amazing program that I want to make sure I say everything correctly. It's you know new leaders for new schools. And he's going to talk a little bit about what they do. But he's got real live experience in social change and helping bring about some of the things that Morley and Mike are going to talk about in their presentation about how this new generation of millennials really is a problem-solving generation that's going to help us together tackle the great challenges of the 21st century. And then also rounding out the panel will be Alicia Menendez, did I get that right, I hope, uh, who is the political outreach director of Rock the Vote, uh, which is probably the leading organization in American, uh, America today, nonpartisan organization working on registering and engaging this millennial generation on politics. And she's going to share a little bit uh, with us tonight about what they're learning, what their plans are for this cycle. So it's a wonderful night. Thank you all for coming. I want to turn it to Mike and Morley. Thanks, guys. 